Hi folks, I temporarily have facial hair. Oh look, now it's gone. Well, that was short-lived. I guess I stopped dressing like a hobo too. Roll intro. So I know that I promised that my next video would be about games, but there was no way to get through that video without it being the nerdiest thing on earth. Probably pretty accurate, because I'm a giant nerd. But instead, what I'm going to talk about is porn. Porn is a pretty wonderful thing. Now, if you're my age or less, you grew up in the internet age. And even if you're over my age, you live in it. So that means, odds are, you're on the internet looking at prawns. Prawns. A hundred years ago, you had to pay a lot of money to look at naked ladies do these kind of things. Some of these things didn't even really exist a hundred years ago. So I think it's pretty cool that, um, you can, uh, do that. But, admittedly, I have a problem with some porn. No, it's not the objectification of women. Because that's pretty nifty. And it's not a porn addiction. Of course, there is that too. Foreign porn. It is a plague in porn. I like movies with subtitles, but porn in a different language just takes me out of the experience. Since the whole idea is kind of getting off, you know. Although some porn is awesome, not in a sexy way, just because they do some freaky stuff. Example, two girls, one cup. If you don't know what that is, uh, check out down below. Or don't, because it will terrify you more than the human centipede. There's also some weird stuff that I actually, I don't even watch for important reasons. I watch because it's hilarious, like Ultimate Surrender. But if you are looking for high quality porn, or if you're just a porn geek, there's actually a blog that's run quietly by the people behind Gizmodo and Lifehacker. It's called Fleshbot. Link's down there. But these people are the internet's connoisseurs of porn. And smut. And dirty, dirty things we all love. Now while I'm talking about sexy things, I want to talk about condoms too. And birth control in general. Which is really awkward. Let's look at the option. Do condoms, which... They feel weird, but see, don't get me wrong, condoms are awesome, and I wear them. I'm a responsible human being. Then there's birth control pills, which is ultimately hormonal, and you have to remember to do it every single day of your life. Every single day that you're not, you know, doing girl stuff. Really, nobody has come up with a really good birth control option. So my challenge to you, Internet, one of you, somewhere, is to find a means of birth control that is fun easy and effective oh wait i got it pulling out jokes all around but if you have any ideas put them down in the comments section below or make a video response for anything i talked about today uh there's links there's my twitter and my facebook it's in the thing that drops down it's below me for my last video you can click right over here and for my next video it's gonna be right there and for my other channel where i talk about movies it's gonna be right here so until next time, stay the hell out of my camera. Instead, get in front of yours and get naked.